In this video, we're going to go through the um, Power Platform uh, and in particular Power Automate and its relationship with Business Central and how we can utilize some of the functionality within that, um, within the out the box functionality with Power Automate and within the out the box APIs of Business Central to allow us to copy data between two companies um, within the same tenant. So for anyone that doesn't know, Power Automate is previously known as, as Microsoft Flow. Uh, might have had a name before that as well, to be honest. Um, but it's their automation engine, Flow engine uh, that sits in the Power Platform. There is quite a lot of use cases uh, floating around for it. Quite a lot of use cases of Power Platform. Microsoft are really trying to push the, plow, the Power Platform's use within Business Central. I think it does have its place um, in some of the more simplistic end user um, consultant type um, scenarios. I think when we start delving into some of the more complex things, um, Power Apps does require some code knowledge and does require uh, end users to be able to understand um, some structures around things that probably aren't as end user friendly as Microsoft are trying to, and try to sell them as. But this is certainly an example of where we can use the Power Automate um, and the Power Platform to do something very simply and very quickly that does fulfill uh, what would have been previously been a development task. So quite a common requirement in multi-environment um, implementations is that they want data between multiple companies in those environments to be in sync or to be copied across. Now, a common one is customers. So when we create a customer in one environment, it creates customer in another environment. Now, in the past, that would have been, we'd have had to write something for that in, in Business Central, and um, there would have been a, an extension or a bit of a spoke written for that. Um, but we can do this now very quickly and very simply using Power Automate. It is a simple example of how to do it, um, and there'd be much uh, smarter ways uh, of doing it if you want to build on the Power Platform in terms of using things like Power Apps and using CDS and things like that. This is just meant to be a really simple example of how we can use Power Automate to get data sync between two uh, companies in less than sort of four or five minutes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got two companies here. I've got Cronus and I've got Dynamics Ollie. So they're both in the same environment, but they're just two separate companies. If I click in the new shiny button they've added, I've got Cronus and Dynamics Ollie, and the my company is default. So I want to get a customer I create in Cronus to come into Dynamics Ollie every time one's created. So I'm going to do that using Power Automate. And what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to start a timer on this um, just to, to prove how quickly and easy this is to do. So I start that sort of 15 minute timer and come into Power Automate and do create. Now I'm going to want to create this as a automated cloud flow because it's triggered by a designated event and I'm going to use some of the inbuilt events that exist out the box of Business Central. So I'll call this, uh, I'll use test, test flow. And do and for searching here for business central i want to do so you'll see a few pop up here but i want to choose the trigger of when a record is created because i want when a customer's created it to do something so i'm going to choose when a record is created it's then going to just ask me which environment so you have to know your environment you're going into the company so i want to copy it from cronus and i want to use version two of the api if I just go into table name, you'll see there's multiple tables in here. Now, not every table has all the fields available in it via the API. So you'll have to check each one. Customers does have a lot of um, the fields in there, so it's a good one to use. Um, some of the other ones I've looked at don't have quite as much in there, but you can create your own custom APIs and put in there whatever you want. Um, and that's something that's, you know, that, that's where it comes back to where I was saying before around some of the more simplistic things, you can just a very consultant and usery. If you want to go a bit more detail, that's probably when you need to get a development team involved to write things like custom APIs and, and publish different tables and different fields for you. But if we use, for the customer example, I select customers. So I'm saying when a customer is created in Cronus, then do this. So the next thing I want to do is choose an operation. I want to again search for Business Central. Select the Mammoth Research 5 Business Central. Now I want to get that record, so get record V3. So when that record's created, I want to get it from where it's just been created from. So again, my environment, my uh, wrong company there actually, from, I want to get it from Cronus. And again, I want to use version two of the API. And again, I want to use 
my customer table and I'll let it get the raw ID from the dynamic content. That'll just identify the record. So I've, when a record is created in Cronus, get that record. Now the next step is the bit where I'm gonna say, now create that record in my new company. So again, for Search Business Central, you'll see we've got great record delete, find. I wanna do create record version three. So I'm essentially doing, when a record is created, get the record and create it in my other environment. So Power Platform, but then I'm gonna choose Dynamics Holly Company. Again, same API category, version two, and the table name, customers. And you'll see now it'll pop down all the content that I can populate by the dynamic content from the get record. So number, I wanna use the number, display name, I wanna use the display name, type, can just map all these from here. Press line one. And so what else I'll just do email. I could obviously map all of these if I wanted to, but either I'm gonna do email, phone number, just so we can see all this data coming through. And I'll leave the rest as is for now. And that's it. If I click save on that now. Your flow is ready to go, we recommend you test it. So I'm just gonna go back. Get a confirmation your flow is ready to go. If I come back into Zot Watch, that's took us less than five minutes to get that flow up and running and without any real technical knowledge around Business Central or its data structures or anything like that or how to write APIs just by consuming the standard APIs out of the box. If I pause that now and I come into my Cronus company. To trigger this, all I should need to do is create a new customer. So I'm going to do that. It's going to pop up the templates that cover the Cronus, but we don't care about that. And I'm just going to call this one Holly's Test Flow Customer. I'm going to give it a phone number and an email. Play anything I wanted in here if I wanted to, but I'm just going to leave that as that now. So there only fields that I've mapped. So I've created that Chrome. So I'm going to come off there now. If I come back to my flow, you'll see we've got the run history here. If I just refresh that, you can see it ran five seconds ago, 59 milliseconds, and it succeeded. So therefore, I should now, if I come into Dynamics Ollie, I should now see a customer for that, and I do Ollie's test flow customer. If I come into here, it's got the name that I mapped, it's got the phone number, it's got the email that I mapped across. So that's a really simple, quick way of using Power Automate to fulfill a development task. Now, if you wanted to go even further that, you could. You could um, plug that into further elements of the Power Platform. You could use things like CDS to potentially have this sit in a table before it gets created in the, in the other company. So when I do get record, I could put that in a table in CDS, someone could. That could then go into a table in BC where someone reviews that. We could use the approvals functionality in Flow if you really want to get more advanced with it. But as you start building that out, I do think that's when you start needing the requirements of, of a developer or um, someone who at least understands um, how to create things like Power Apps. This is a very simple example of how we can use, how an end user or a consultant can set up a, a, a Flow, a Power Automate, to copy data between two systems in, in less than five minutes. Um, like I said, if you wanted to do things that weren't within that API, you would need a developer to create you a custom API. And also you might find that some of the tables in the in the version two API don't have all the fields you require on them. So again, you need someone to go in and create those fields. Um, but for some of the more really simple ones, it's a it's a great option uh, and a quick way of, of, you know, boxing off a development task that we in the past have to re require code. Hope you enjoyed that video.